like you told me, go for it slowly. It's not a race to the end. Well, you look like yourself, but you're somebody else. Only it ain't on the surface. It was uh, early 2016. Uh, my dad started having, you know, kind of issues. He would always mention to me small things. He said, you know, I'm, I'm talking and my, the sound in my head, the voice, the, the words in my head can't come out of my mouth fast enough. So I remember when I got the phone call, I remember thinking, oh, like, this, there's got to be a mistake. I don't care what they say the life expectancy is. Like, dad's living forever. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. <laughs> You have to remember that his brain is 100%, you know, functioning. You have a person who's still, you know, as sharp as ever, who's, you know, in a way kind of trapped in a body that's not responding like it once did. It was harder to really think about it. It was easier to kind of shut it out because the symptoms weren't as visible. It was, it was easier to just pretend like nothing was happening, I think. At first, like, your world drops. And then it kind of turned into like, all right, well, what's next? How do we beat this? What's our next step? Let's go. Every Thanksgiving, we all sit around the table and I say to everybody, what are you thankful for? Um, so, I guess I'll start. Dad. <laughs> You are a force that cannot be stopped. With everything you've done, football, TV, writing, you've always made sure you were there for me and the rest of our family. You always find a way to connect with me, even when we had a million other things to do in your busy, busy life. You've taught me, most importantly, that if I can't change something that I don't like, that I better just change my attitude about it. You've taught me what it means to be a man, and more importantly, you've taught me what it means to be part of a family. You and mom have given me three brothers, yet you've never let me for a second believe that I am less strong, less fast, or less smart than any of them. I've put your lessons into my daily life and can't wait to watch you teach all of these things and more to your grandchildren. So thanks, Dad. I love you so much. Every day, I try to be a little bit more like you. Like you always say, I love you forever and infinity. Dad, I love you forever and infinity. And no matter what happens, I know you love me too. Sorry. I think the strength of a man can be measured by his humility and the love in the people closest to him. I may be here for, you know, two years, or 20 years, or two days, we don't know. But I know today I woke up and I thank God for the things I have. I saw the part of you that only when you're older you'll see too, you'll see too.